Hey, welcome back to Forging On with Gary Brown. <laughs> I've been weed eating outside. Oh, me, it's hot. I got fans all over me in here, and it's uh, <clears throat> 88 degrees in the shop. Of course, out in the sun, weed eating was a lot worse. But, uh, package arrived today, and I've been having problems. I've, I've been using these wireless mics, this Movo, how do you pronounce it? And uh, handshake. Uh, you gotta focus. Yeah. Anyway, I've been using these uh, just recently. And one thing I noticed, I'm not sure if I, I was placing it up here. And when I'm forging and I've got my gas forge on right now, you're probably hearing my fan back, back there. That's hard to do. <laughs> um, but when my forge is going, it seems like this microphone, that probably all jumbled up when I was moving it around, sorry. Um, but my microphone's picking up the forge sounds more than my voice. And I'm really not set up to do voiceovers because I'm just starting out and I'm using my, my smartphone for my camera. And I've just plugged in these microphones into it. Also, um, uh, I gotta get a, I've got the software and I've got a better camera I could use, but my computer I've got in the house won't handle it right now. So right now I'm just stuck using this and I use a free app on, uh, on my smartphone. I do all my editing and uploading and everything just for my phone. <clears throat> Pretty sad when your phone is more powerful than your laptops. So, but I've noticed I'm, I'm nobody can hear me when I'm using this. So I ordered this today. This came in. Oops, I knocked stuff off. So let me back up. So I opened up just enough to see what it is, but I haven't opened up, taken anything out of the box yet. So it's a Tax Star. SGC 598 uh, boom mic or shotgun mic, forty mic, I'm not sure what you want to call it. I don't know if this is going to work. Since it's a directional mic, these things are omnidirectional. And this thing's a directional mic. I'm hoping this will do better. But it was only 20 something bucks off of Amazon. I'll, I'll post a link to this stuff at the bottom if you want to look at it. But, uh, yeah, it's got a nice little case, it's like a soft felt case. Uh, some instructions. Not a whole lot to it. You can see. So, a whole bunch of little clips. Man. I can't, uh, I won't be forging for a while, I don't think. I may try some today. Uh, a little, about a week and a day, a week and two days ago, something like that. I was walking down some steps, started to fall, reached up with this arm, grabbed a beam, caught myself, but something crunched and ground and made a lot of noise, which made me which hurt. I started to fall again, grabbed myself again, crunched it again on this shoulder now it's just hurts to raise it up i don't know how i'm gonna forge i get that sometimes it does a little better but right now it's hurting so as you can see see i can hold this bag up it's just shaking a little i try to hold this one up oh my goodness that hurts ah. anyway life in the big city there's not a whole lot to it we got the cord tucked inside there Oh, it's got like a little clip on the back here. I guess you just pull that out and hook it up. It's got this little cover. A little mesh on the end. Well, I sure hope this works as far as drowning out the sound of my forge. If I can get the thing back on now. You ready? Okay, got the sock back on, and I was checking over it. Um, 
these little clips I was talking about, they're actually, you can see the, the four clips here and on the back there. And uh, has these three switches, on off, a 10 decibel increase in sound it said, uh, and this third one doesn't say anything, but it's on the instructions. It says it's a base filter switch. Turn it on, can reduce the ambient noise. Well, I definitely want that on, so I'm gonna flip that on. I guess the 10 decibels. I ain't gonna turn the power on yet. It says a standard configuration, it comes with a battery. Uh, but it wasn't one in there. It, was, it says it has a windsock, microphone component, battery, one piece, user manual, cloth bag. There's no battery in there. So, oh, took all that foam out, there's nothing in there. So. But, hey, you know, it's cheap. It's not a road mic from China, but maybe it'll do for me. And, uh, most of the writing on the box is Chinese, so. So I put them clips with it. Um, I have a battery, it takes, takes one AA battery. I gotta remember looking at the microphone. Right, microphone, I'm losing it. Looking at the camera, which is at the very end, because I look at the screen, it looks like I'm looking away from the camera. So this has a slide out slot thing. Put the mic in. Slide the cover back on. That's it. Supposed to have a little light on the back, shows the power. So if I flip this on, and it does nothing. I don't know if that's going to mess up the video if I start talking this way. So that's a microphone from my wired mic. And we'll see how that goes. I'll just ramble on here for a second or two. See, okay. This is the Movo wired, wire, I mean wireless mic. Hook it up about the same spot. Just holding this in my hand. The other one's just dangling there. See how that one works. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. Okay. So that's with the wireless mic plugged in. Right. Unplug that one. shotgun mic. Okay. That's a shotgun mic. The thing is, is... I hope well, unfortunately, um, I can't use this. So, I gotta see if I can find an adapter for it. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it's been a long time between the time I filmed this review of the shotgun mic. Can't read it's upside down. <clears throat> it's a tax star, and it wouldn't work before on my phone. So, of course, I was too cheap to buy a Rode mic, but I bought a Rode adapter. Rode, you know, Rode adapter, and the problem was um, the shotgun mic's a bit for cameras that don't have microphones, and so this is a uh, TRS adapter to a TRRS adapter, which is what goes on a phone. So if you want to use a shotgun mic with your cell phone, like I do, um, for all my recording. Now if I use my other camera, which I'm not using because I don't 
have the setup to edit it yet because I do all my editing everything on the phone. Um, you don't need the adapter, but if you're using it on a on a cell phone, just get this adapter. I'll put a link to it below, and this is actually working pretty good. Um, I'll try to do this. I'm going to unplug it, and this is going straight to the microphone from the. Cell phone. Now I'm on cell phone. You can hear. It's probably not good as good. Hopefully, and then um, plug it back in, and uh, I've got that big box fan right there that's uh, making a lot of noise and I've got two small fans. I've got one here that you can see and i got another one over on the side. It's always hot in the shop so i got fans going everywhere. And my wireless mic has an omnidirectional so I'm hoping this will cut out. I'm going to try it later using my forge but I'm hoping this will cut it out. So anyway, I'll link the, the, the shotgun mic down and the adapter for it and hope you have a blessed day. Take care. Hope you like and subscribe my channel. Bye bye.